What's up guys, welcome back. We just got it back from the shop. Check it out, finally, all painted up with a beautiful Grand Prix white. It's gonna go ahead and assemble this thing today. Hopefully could do alignment and possibly our first drive, guys. I'm very excited for that. Have yet to drive this thing, so looking forward to that. Did get the headlights in, which I wanna show you. Check it out right here. These are OEM replica headlights. 200 bucks for the pair versus 800, and they look just like OEM. And I did swap the old HID modules and components. Uh, the OEM components from the old broken lights, they made it, probably last a long time. Uh, we'll see. If you guys do remember, the inner seal was ripped. Someone's been in here before. This car was painted before. The whole front end was painted and blended into the into the doors. But I did get a brand new seal. So we're gonna start with assembling this driver's side door and then working our way to the front end. So let's go ahead and pop on the driver's side mirror and then go ahead and proceed with the plastic. Practically done with the door panel. Got this new cover on because the old one was ripped up. Had to add some adhesive all the way around because the old adhesive was not sticky. So we got that on. Dad put on the molding right here. We're about to put the door panel on, uh, finish this off, and then go assemble the front bumper. Beautiful perforated red leather door panel installed uh, all the switches hooked up everything works just fine speaker also hooked up and we got that pin right there plugged up there's the door if you guys remember the handle was not painted and the mirror was not painted but still it looks amazing so let's go ahead and assemble the front bumper so we could put the front end together and hopefully take this thing for its first test drive check it out so here's the lower grill for the bumper brand new from the dealer uh, we got the front emblem this cover is actually pretty straightforward how it goes on. Feed it in through there. Perfect. Now these go behind the bumper. They're for the license plate mounting. Um, and then I bought these caps. They come pre-painted like this. I think it was about 15 bucks for the pair. So those go behind the bumper and these clip in and they covered these holes right here. Just makes it look nice and flush. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and pop on the mounting brackets right here. Grill is on and we got these clips on right here. So now we could go ahead and put on the caps for the license plate. So these just push right in, just like this. Bam. Bam, just like that, beautiful. License plate caps on, front lower grill on, got the cap on, and of course that emblem. Let's go ahead and toss on the lights for the fenders real quick. The bulb is actually there already, so we'll save this one for the driver's side. Ordered these brand new from the dealer. They're like 10 bucks each. Not too bad, just like that. Beautiful. Awesome. So let's test them out real quick before we go ahead and assemble the front end. Driver's side works. Passenger side works. Awesome. We're pulling off this bumper piece because uh, we do have to install this plastic piece here. Uh, it's quite simple how it goes on. So there's four holes right down the reinforcement. One, two, three, and four. So it just sits on like this on the reinforcement and the four holes on the top, two on this side, two on this side, mount up on the support. So uh, we took that bumper piece off. We're gonna go ahead and toss this on. Uh, right now it's just installing the new clips for the harness because the harness is just dangling. We're gonna go ahead and toss on the hood latch, it's three bolts, and then put on the duct and proceed with the headlights. All right, so we're got the hood latch on. We're just adjusting it right now. Awesome. Tightening. We're gonna go ahead and pop that plastic piece on. Four of these clip style, I don't know what to call them. It's like a, it's a clip, 
and it's a Phillips head right here. So as you tighten it, it expands and it locks it in on the top part of the radiator support right there. We're gonna go ahead and pop the headlights on right now getting those brackets off. We just had it on there. Uh, just to see how everything lines up. And slowly but surely, it's gonna come to a completion here. We're checking the lights, it looks like everything works. So awesome, the lights work. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off right now. Or we're gonna go ahead and raise it up, put on the fender liners and the undercover. Bolts right here for the bumper. We got this side fender liner on. A lot of clips that went all the way around and even more clips under the car for the fender line right there. Uh, bolted down right here, all the way through. We're doing this side and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and lower the car. So it came out really nice, looks beautiful. So we lowered the SUK. We're putting on the hood nozzles right here. Mm. We pulled these off the old white hood. There you go, we got one on. So we can go ahead and pull the other one off the old hood right here. So we have to go ahead and put the undercover on and also run the lines for the nozzles to the hose that comes out from under the fender. We got the fender liners installed, undercover is installed, front all nicely done up. That air cleaner is cracked, it's going to have to be changed out. That'll be done the next time. It is a bit late right now, it's about 8 or 9 p.m alignment shop is closed so we couldn't get the alignment done in the first test drive we'll go ahead and do that next time if you guys remember that label we're missing that label have to order from the dealer if you enjoy what you saw please give the video a thumbs up we'll see you guys next time take care